What is going on everybody? David here and today got a brand new video for y'all and this time we have another four random action figure review volume two. So just like the original format we want to take a look at two moderns and two vintage uh, figures that I have been meaning to open for a while. So without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the first contestant. So <clears throat> first person we got up is magic now i got this at retro madness a while back been meaning to open her but i haven't but um uh, yeah so i finally have her in the collection and this is she is part of the uh the new mutants uh marvel collector editions line <clears throat> and uh i know a lot of people went crazy for the Legends uh, Walgreens exclusive one, but I I didn't I just went crazy for the toy biz one But I needed her in the collection. So And then let's go ahead and take a look at the back and see who else comes in this line We also need to get Wolfsbane and Warlock So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at her All right, so we have magic with her flaming uh, shooting Lockhead Dragon, so, <clears throat> and her headgear is coming off, <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull them out of the clamshell, and then we'll get started on the quick review. Okay, so we have magic out of her um, clamshell, and with her Lockhead Dragon and accessories, and she does stand pretty well, and for those who don't know, magic is the younger sister of uh, Colossus. And um, <clears throat> really excited to have her in the collection now to go with uh, the Colossus that I have. And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. And um, right off the bat, you know, this is Toy Biz, so it's not going to be the greatest sculpt. But I do love the aesthetics of this figure. I think they did take a, a for, for its time, they did do a good job with it. And I love the uh, the paint details, especially on the arm right here and the legs. And you can't really go wrong with that. And I like the fact that he has the uh, middle arm, you know, as well. And uh, uh, this is more for like a, a collector's uh, edition, should I say, because of the articulation and the amount of it that it has. Um, the hair is fixed in that position right there. And... Really like the head sculpt of that. May not be the the prettiest head sculpt as far when it comes to their women figures, but um, it's it's really good for what it is. If you look at the um, the details of the face, the eyes, and the eyebrows, you know that's pretty good for for it for its time. <coughs> and uh, the belt is, is is plastic, and I don't know if you can yeah you can removable. The belt is removable and you'll be able to unlock this and take that off. And then she's got the spikes here for her uh, wrist guard. And uh, as far as articulation goes, you know, her legs move up and down. Got a single knee and um, a single ankle right there. And she doesn't have an ankle rocker or anything like that. So, <clears throat> same thing right here. So, and then of course you know her head goes sideways. And then her arms got a single shoulder up and down, and then a single elbow. So that's about it you get for uh, articulation for this one. So she does stand pretty well. You just gotta kind of get her in a fixed position, you know, to where she's able to stand. So. And then we have her, uh, we have her, uh, headgear, look kind of like a Loki's, doesn't it a little bit, <laughs> the horns and everything, but yeah, here's a strap, so we'll, we'll put it on her here in a second, so, and then she comes with a, a sword, very nice and shiny, and I really like that a lot, and the detail on this thing is, is really good as well. <coughs> And then we have the uh, the Lockhead Dragon. So 
this thing is articulated and very nice. It's just a, a single colored purple with a little bit of a detail right here. Um, I don't know what the heck that was, but something was living in there. <laughs> like some cobweb or something. But anyways, so the jaw articulates. I do like the eyes on this. Kind of reminds me of uh, gargoyles a little bit. The, the design, you know, this dragon. And the, the wings do articulate as well. So, very cool. And then, you know, the arms just go up and down as far as the, the feet go to, or the legs. They just go up and down. Um, I don't, I think this one's kind of stuck a little bit, but I'm not going to force it. And then you have the, uh, the tail right here. So, I'm pretty sure if you could, you could probably have it sitting like this. But you would have to kind of like make the, uh, the feet go forward a little bit more. But it doesn't go very much further than that so that's about as far as you're going to get but she does it does just rest on her, her arms though <clears throat> and then here is its uh fire missile so let's see if it can go right there so and then the button right here See if it works. I'm trying to see if the gimmick works here or not. So it looks like the gimmick is not working properly. Oh well, <clears throat> it might have worked back then. <laughs> But uh, let's go ahead and put this dragon on her and all her gear on her real quick. And we'll take a closer look at that. I do want to show y'all real quick that you can remove a lot of this stuff. So let's go ahead and take her helmet off. Take the wrist guards off. And you can remove her, uh, her shin, her furry shin guards. And also... Like I mentioned before, you can, you can remove this. So, let's go ahead and try to remove this real quick. And, um, this piece right here can come off as well. So, <clears throat> we do get a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. So then you have um, her waist swivel. So this would be like her, uh, should I say her uh, New Mutants outfit. So really cool. I really like this a lot. So let's go ahead and uh, put some of this, let's put this stuff back on. All right, so she's all decked out in her gear. So I have to say that this figure is amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I was trying to put the um, the dragon on the arm, but there is no way for it to sit on there, even if you could uh, have it on there, because the the feet, you know, they're they're not they're too wide, they're not close enough to where to be able to lock in on arm. But um, other than that, I love this set. It's an amazing set. So I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up. You know, the the dragon alone makes it worthwhile and stuff, and their gear and everything. So, very classic uh, magic in my opinion. So, I'm very happy to have this figure in the collection. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, so the next figure I got coming up next is uh, from Hasbro. And, um, it's somewhat somewhat old but kind of somewhat new so i guess it'll be in the classic range so it's not quite vintage yet but this is from uh, everybody's favorite marvel movie ghost rider <laughs> yeah i know a lot of people hated this movie but i i, I liked it for what it was you know i'm not saying it's the best one or the greatest one but i, I enjoyed it you know now the second film 
Uh, no, I, I didn't enjoy that at all. I've only seen it like once, maybe twice. I, I just couldn't get into it. I have the movie, but um, that's just to complete the collection. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've always uh, wanted to get these figures. So I did find this at Movie Trading Company years ago, like two, three years ago, probably longer. And um very fortunate to get this. Plus, I know I get the Ghost Rider head sculpt and a Nick Cage head sculpt. So, that's that's uh, awesome right there. And I do love the packaging. I do love the packaging, though. The packaging's great. And so, here is the back of it. And uh, I do want that scare, scare, uh, Scarecrow. I do have the Blackheart. I got him cheap, but he goes for crazy money. But I did get him cheap, luckily. So, he is complete. And then um, I do want the Flame Fist Ghost Rider. And plus, they also got the, uh, um, they got Carter Slade figure. And they got a, a Vengeance and a, um, um, I think there was somebody else too. And the Vengeance and the Scarecrow are kind of like the concept of what, if they were in the movies. So it was kind of like concept figures, figures for the film. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look at it. Alright, so here's a closer look at uh, Ghost Rider, or Johnny Cage, and uh, his, uh, not Johnny Cage, <laughs> Nicholas Cage, <laughs> in this clamshell, open clamshell. And also we, we get one of these things. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. This thing is pretty cool. I, I do like getting these little catalogs or whatever they are that came with the figures back then. You get an idea. So this is uh, Marvel Spider-Man Origins, Marvel Legends, Superhero Squad, and Ghost Rider. So here's the Origins line. Um, I do you want that Demo Goblin? Actually, I want all of them. You know, these are great figures, in my opinion. So, can't wait to get into these. Here's some more. Here's from the uh, uh, the movie, the the Sam Raimi movie. There. Here's some more stuff. Signature series they look kind of like ego figures right here And then here is the superhero squad Those are pretty cool looking and Then here is the icon series for Mar Marvel Legends So this is a, a bath wave right here you can build an Nihilus right here but These are cool do you want that Punisher though? I want all of these. I want them all. Here's the blob build a figure. These are going to be really, really hard to get. I already know. <laughs> so here's the Ghost Rider series. Um, these was, here's what comes with all of them. See, I want that Vengeance and that Scare, Scarecrow and the Caretaker. Carter Slade. <clears throat> so I basically want all these figures right here I don't really too much care for these but if I see them for a cheap price then I'll pick them up to add to the collection and so that's it for that it also comes with a checklist of stuff that's pretty, that's pretty cool but anyways let's go ahead and uh, take out this uh, figure right here and take a closer look at it okay finally got him out of the packaging uh not the greatest looking thing in the world. <laughs> uh, you could probably tell that um, when has this was around the time Hasbro uh, pretty much uh, bought out um, Toy Biz slash Marvel. Uh, I think they had changed their name towards the end of their run to like Marvel Entertainment Corporation or some some shit like that. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, you could tell they used uh, some of their. Uh, their molds for their figures, you know, because Hasbro, or not Hasbro, but uh, Toy Biz has been known to um, 
use uh, the ball ball joints, you know, right there, you know, telling the leg and everything. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> crazy stuff, right? But um, anyways, yeah, it was kind of hard to stand, you know. The legs were a little loose, but everything else was, uh, the joints were really tight and stuff. But um, anyways, so let's go ahead and take a look at this head sculpt real quick. Uh, really like the flame effect of this head sculpt. Really, really like that a lot. Um, got an articulated jaw like he's screaming. Ah! <laughs> but, um, excuse me. Uh, but I do like the eyes on this thing. So, really, really like the head sculpt. And uh, it does have a neck articulation and everything. do like the fact that the, the neck is bony. You know, like it should be. And as far as the uh, figure goes, so that is pretty much the likeness of Nick Cage. You know, you can tell that is him. May not be the greatest looking thing. It ain't no Hot Toys likeness, but um, you can honestly look at that and say, Hey, that's Nick Cage. Um, aesthetically, looks uh, okay. But what it is for the for this movie license for what they did for the toys, um, it does have a lot of details. I'll give it that. You know, the molding was done very well as far as uh, what they did back then, and um, <clears throat> so it is somewhat aesthetically uh, uh, appealing, should I say, or pleasing. Um, but that that's kind of. That's a little out there, out there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can tell that the, the, the legs are loose. Um, but yeah, I do, I do like the spikes on the, on the coat and everything. So, very, very cool. Sorry about all that noise with the chain. Um, so. But as far as articulation goes, you know, you got the, the, the ball jointed head, you know up and down and the arms um the shoulders on a ball and hinge you know you got the the shoulder a rotation right there and you got the uh the, the double elbow right there so articulation wise it, it it's fairly good for what it was back then so you got the uh the hand and close open and close and then you got the 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 wrist articulation right there and then um like i said it's on the ball in hinge there as far as the legs go and then this is where the stiffness really comes into play so you do get a double knee and then the feet you get the uh, uh you don't get the uh, the lean or anything but you do get the legs go up and down and then the feet you know, you got the toe articulation right there. So, and the same thing with this right here. Um, you can't really do a whole lot because the action feature is tied to that as far as this goes. So, it's not, you can tell that it's not on a ball or hinge. So, but you do get a, a, a double elbow right there. You know, the wrist articulation. And, um... You probably could take this out if you really, yep, you can. So, let's go ahead and set that down for a second. So, <clears throat> you do get the wrist articulation there. And the same thing, ball and hitch on this leg too. And the, uh, double, double knee. So, overall, we still got some more of this, uh, plastic. This thing was like rotted out on the, on the figure. <laughs> it really was. So it's like it never really was tied into it. It had all of it, but it just it was just it just came apart when I pulled the figure out of the plastic. <laughs> so let's go ahead and change this head scope. Well, that was fairly easy. So I don't have a Ghost Rider. Well, I do actually. I do have a Ghost Rider. This one right here. But yeah, you you can actually pop this in and out fairly easily, so it's not that hard to really get in there. So that's that's easy. I know that most other the legends they do now, the uh, the uh, you pop the head off of here at the neck, and sometimes it takes forever. You got to force it, but this this is actually fairly easy. It just pops in like that. So yeah, so this will be my Ghost Rider for right now until I actually get one that's legit. 
like the Toy Biz one or uh, whichever I can get. You know, it's, it's a reasonable price. So, but as far as the action feature goes, this is the button right there. And uh, all you gotta do is just press that. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this real quick. That way you can get a better look at it. So, it may not do much, but, so you get this whipping at you. So it actually, it actually works pretty well. I like the fact that it just, it pops up and it just goes out and you can actually really hit somebody from that. So, very cool. Really like that. So, yep, this is my Ghost Rider figure for right now until I get the actual Toy Biz one. That's the one I really want that comes with the bike. So, yes sir. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, the the next figure up is from McFarland Toys, and um, I saw this at uh, Target uh, a while back, probably around the summertime, I think, and um, was very happy to see this. And uh, my boy Harry sent me the other figure that goes with this, and um, I would like to do a uh, side by side comparison before we wrap uh, this figure up, you know. Because they go good together. So, it is the McFarlane Doom. The the Marauder. So, this is a very, very sweet looking figure to go to my collection. For, for the type of stuff that I collect. As far when it comes to my vintage and my modern stuff. Um, yeah, very excited to have this. So, I really like the packaging in this one. Very cool. Side of the packaging looks really awesome. Right there, pretty much the same thing. And then the back of the packaging. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up. All right, so that's the inside of the packaging that's behind the figure. Here's the figure itself in the clamshell. And then you have the ax and the stand on the inside. So very cool. So let's go ahead and get the Marauder out and his accessories and take a closer look at it. Man, I have to admit that this thing is amazing. It's very heavy. Well, not very heavy, but it is, it is a weighty figure. And the aesthetics in this thing is incredible. You know, you know, a lot of people complain about McFarlane and stuff, but he ain't got no complaints for me at all. Because I'm... Like I've mentioned time and time again, I'm not a poseable guy. I don't care for my figures to have a whole lot of articulation. That's why I love vintage so much, because I ain't got to do much with them. And plus, I'm not a fig photographer or anything like that. So, I'm okay with this. Because, you know, if I'm, if I'm going to want something new, I want it to look nice. You know, a collector's item. And this is what you would call a collector's item, because... You know, not only does the figure look good, but, you know, he moves relatively well for the amount of articulation that uh, McFarlane gives you. He gives you the articulation, but just enough to where you can do what you need to do with it as far as displays, you know. Now, as far as if you're into toy photography, it may not be the exact figure that you want like you would get with a Marvel Legends or a, a WWE Elite or anything like that, but... <clears throat> aesthetically speak, speaking it gives you all that shit I mean look at that that's <laughs> that, that's just incredible in my opinion I love this thing this thing is amazing I mean the sculpt the fact the detail you know it's just look at that head sculpt I mean <laughs> can't really go wrong with that look that is insane. This it just reminds me of like the older stuff that he did in the nineties. <clears throat> so, I mean, the detailing of here, the abs, you know, you can see all the muscle right there, the arms, you know, the gauntlets and everything, you know, the straps. Look at all that. That that's a work of art right there. That's what I like, you know. 
and that's what he goes for. You know, he's an artist. He he goes for looks. You know, the aesthetics of the the figure. You know, like I said, he gives you articulation, but just enough to, for you to do what you need to do with it. You know, and uh, but yet people still buy that stuff despite what they say and complain about. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. <clears throat> As long as you're happy with it at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, you know. Am I saying it's perfect? No. You know, the, everything has its own flaws for its own reason, you know. But, um, but yeah. It's just. That's cool. This is by far the figures that have opened it as, with his new ones. This is by far the cleanest figure I've seen. From McFarlane, uh, since he started going back to uh, action figures, you know, I don't have any of his uh, Fortnite stuff. Um, <clears throat> the only one I really wanted from the Fortnite is the Peely, but I haven't really found his figure. I don't care for the Jazzwares one. I do have the little one, but I, I, the six-inch Peely—that's the only one I really want. So. But yeah, it's a, an amazing thing. Look at this thing. So, I mean, you get enough, you know, rotation up here, ab crunch. Look at that. And you get, you get three different. Look at all that. <clears throat> you know, can't beat that. At least you know, unlike the uh, the elite figures, they had that big old weird looking cut. He didn't have that. It's just that's that scene right there. And the same thing with the uh, the legends. Like he doesn't have that weird looking block looking thing that comes up there. You know, he hides all that. And that's a that's that's an amazing thing right there. So I like that a lot. <clears throat> Arms go up and down, and you can adjust this thing. That's another neat thing. You can adjust this thing to to get your your movement that you need. You know, you got your single joint. No, a lot of people probably would want a, a double joint there, but you know, but for the for this figure, for what it has on it, you know, I can understand why it would be a single elbow joint. You know, and it would benefit if you had like a fingers grabbing finger things, but then again, those would get loose and it would drop your stuff, your, your accessories, you know, like I said, it, it has its issues, got that ratchet joint right there, single joint right there at the knees, <clears throat> up and down, forwards and backwards, oh. of course, the this, this thing gets in the way, hinders from it. You know, <clears throat> Get the ankle right there, Got a slight rock right there. Like uh, like my boy Venom Vang says, on the lane. <laughs> so this is yeah, I like the man. This things for what it is, it gives me what I need for for my display. You know. But enough about that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and set him aside right here. <clears throat> now it comes with the doom stand, and then this. This is this thing's insane. It just reminds, like I said, this reminds me of the old accessories that you would get from the stuff that he pumped out in the, in the mid to late nineties. You know, a lot, a lot more detail and everything. Look at that. That's incredible. A work of art. A work of art. You know, when I was uh, growing up, and um, <clears throat> I did a lot of drawing myself, you know, so I see where it comes from and stuff. So you can look at something and you just use your, your imagination and just take from it, and then you just draw, draw it, you know. And that's what I, that was my ability was to be able to look at something and draw exactly how it is while I'm looking at it. Now, as far as not just random ideas from my mind, no, <laughs> my brain didn't work that way. <laughs> but um, 
I would like to get back into drawing. I just got to be motivated to do that kind of stuff, you know. I'm sorry, I'm, y'all, y'all looking at my my hand more than anything. But anyways, yeah, I really like this thing. All right, let me do a side by side comparison with the Doom Slayer that my boy Harry Sandman PR Vlogs uh, uh, sent me. And if you haven't checked out that video, that mail call video, uh, check it out. You know, go through my mail call video uh, playlist and you'll find it. So here is the uh, the Marauder next to the Doom Slayer. They look great, don't they? I love this pairing. So it's going to look great on my shelf. Can't wait to get these guys displayed. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, last but not least is from Trend Masters. Now, you all know I love me some Trend Masters. Now, this particular figure, um, I bought at Freaks and Geeks a long time ago, a couple of years ago or so. And uh, I've been wanting to add more to this uh, line because I love this particular movie. And it was a uh, movie that me and my family went to go see, my parents, uh, all uh, my siblings, you know, my brother and both my sisters, we all went to go see this film. And it was one of the funniest things back then, you know. Of course, I, you know, I was a teenager when this movie came out. Um, love this movie to this day. And so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And it is Mars Attacks. And um, this is the only figure I got in the collection. So hopefully I'll be able to add some more to it. Um, here is the back of it. There really isn't a whole lot more to this line. It's very select few. So there's only like... I need like three more figures and then you know the saucer and all that stuff um, but yeah would like to complete all of this but um yeah this is the Martian spy girl the firing freeze ray, ray blaster <laughs> so um, I, I love the card back it's kind of reminisce to the old Kenner uh, aliens predators card back you know when it had the uh, the, the alien or the predator on the side, and then the the wording of the particular figure, like predator or alien. So it's the same thing right here. The Martian right there, and then Mars attacks right there. So very neat. And uh, we'll take a closer look at the card bag once we get this blister off. All right, so we got the, uh, the card uh, back, or the blister off, so... Um, like I said, we're going to take a closer look at this. I really like this. This is this is how card backs should be. You can tell you got the uh, the ship right there, you know, blasting down at the bottom with the fiery effect right there. It's a very neat. I really love this artwork. And then you got the old classic Trend Masters right there. So such an amazing card bag. So then we have the uh, figure right here. So let's go ahead and oh man, this thing's loaded down with accessories. So, let's go ahead and um, pull this stuff out and take a closer look at it, shall we? Alright, so here is the uh, Spy Girl Martian with all of her accessories. It comes with quite a bit. So, it comes with a, a mask that you can put on her, her head, you know. And then comes with the blaster right here with two missiles right here. And uh, let's go ahead and just insert these right there. I think they're supposed to go right there. There we go. I don't know what the heck I was doing with that. So, very nice right there. Great looking detail. Like I said, I love me some Trend Masters. Not the greatest looking aesthetically uh, figures, but man, they, they, they come loaded. Here's the handgun right there. And there's her purse right there. And it does open up. So you can open this up, and if you want to, you can store her blaster right there, you know. And then it comes with a, a seating irony. Now, if you remember in the movie, <clears throat> you can tell right there in her hand right there, she used that just to, to spy on people. And so they actually came with one that you could 
use if you want it to. I won't be using it. It's all sticky. Old, old looking plastic. Look at that. Ugh. Oh. Slimy. Slimy. <laughs> but here is the figure itself. So. Look at that beautiful head scope right there. Very nice. Very nice detail. And that's one thing about Trend Masters. They, they, they never skimpy out on details. No matter what line they did. Whether it be the Godzilla stuff. The Godzilla 1988 stuff. The Independence Day. Mars Attacks. You know. Tarzan. You know. Anything that they could think of. You know. Big or small. They always added detail to it. Somehow. Some way. So. Very nice right there. There's the, the little coated the, uh, spy ring right there. See, you know, normally they wouldn't even paint that kind of stuff. But they got the nails and everything. So not much way of articulation. Um, this is the button that you use. I would have to change out the batteries. So. But anyways, man, look at that. Just for this figure alone, it's it's very nice. Nicely well done. So let's go ahead and load her up with her accessories and take a, uh, see what she looks like. Okay, that's what she looks like with all her gear on her, and accessories and everything. So, very cool. I really like this. I do like the really like this a lot too. So that way you're able to take the the head on and off, with the mask on and off. And it's got this little slit so where you can have enough room to really uh, uh, play with to to put on. Because a lot of times when older companies when they do stuff or gimmicks like this. Um, they get torn easily because they don't actually really make it fit. You just kind of have to force it in there to kind of like press down on it. But but with this, you don't got to do all that. All you got to do is just uh, kind of open it up a little bit or squeeze it. And you know, just slide the mask on. So perfect fit like that. So very cool looking. Really like that a lot. So move her arms up like this and everything so all right let's get them all lined up and do our final thoughts all right well i guess that will do for this random four action figure reviews i hope you really enjoyed this um my final thoughts are i really do love the toy biz magic and that's probably this is probably my favorite of the bunch and then followed by the marauder then the uh Mars Attacks, and then Ghost Rider. Like I said, the only downside about the Ghost Rider is the wobbly legs. I can't get them to stand very properly, so you kind of have to kind of find a, a neutral stance so where he can stand, and hopefully he doesn't fall over. But um, I really did enjoy looking at the uh, Mars Attacks Spy Girl. I think um, she probably has the best accessories of them all next to uh, Magic. But as a whole, I really do like the magic a lot. And uh, the Marauder is just aesthetically amazing. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just that's just such an awesome figure right there. So happy to have that in the collection. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. Uh, comment down below what you think of these four figures and what your favorite is. And uh, your least favorite. So, buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like... You always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.